me tell you. When I finished at the university in 1967, and I had first class, and my head of department was looking for me and came to my secondary school, but I was not around. I'd gone somewhere, and uh, they said he came for me because the university gave me scholarship to do PhD immediately. I didn't apply. I didn't apply. And it listed up a lot of things that, you know, I would benefit. And eventually, uh, my professor saw me and said, did you hear I came to your school? I said, yes, sir. And did you hear that we have given you scholarship to read PhD immediately? I said, yes, sir. He said, when are you coming? I said, sir, I'm not coming. Number one, he was shocked that a young man could have an opportunity like this and they said everything is set for you when are you coming and i said i'm not coming that i have another assignment he looked at me like this i said i see the ground should open and swallow me up and then the principal in my school called me and said we're proud of you thank you sir and that you are a student of this secondary school and you made first class in mathematics we're proud of you and my principal said we'll release you because they sponsored me to go to university we will release you go and i said thank you sir but i'm not going <laughs> what I said, I'm not going. Why? I said, I have an assignment. Then my family in our town in Nigeria, my, the, the, the eldest in our family, a great man in politics and other things, he mentioned my name. He said, the whole city is proud of you. And now we rejoice that you got first class mathematics. And they said in the history, that's what they told me, I didn't know that. In the history of our, of our town, nobody had this. Now move on. Go back. Do your PhD now. I said, no, sir. <laughs> Why? I said, I have an assignment. That was temptation, but I passed the temptation. <laughs> I had an assignment. That's the assignment. That's why we're here now. Amen. You have an assignment. Amen. Temptation will come. Turn away from that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Eventually, I started lecturing at the University of Lagos. And the temptation was not ended yet. And our, you know, provost made arrangement with the University of London. He said, this man is too committed here to Christianity. But we're sending him, we will tell him that he has only three months course to do that, Jesse College. And then... When he comes, take him. <laughs> so they didn't tell me in Nigeria. They just said I was going for three months. And I went. And whatever they wanted me to do there, I hurried up. Because by the grace of God, the brain was there to catch everything. <laughs> Within two months, I finished what I was to do for three months. And so... Over there in the UK, the provost there called me and said, did your provost in Nigeria tell you that when you finish this, you will spend another three years for mathematics education? I said, no way, sir. <laughs> I came for three months, and I finished what I should do for three months. In two months, I'm going back. What? You reject and drop this great thing. Other people are looking for this and you did not apply. And we give you this in London. Are you going to drop it? I said, I have 
an assignment. You will receive temptation. And so I came back to Nigeria. Got back to university. And then when I showed up in the provost's office in the Unilag, University of Lagos, he said, ah, you are back? I said, yes, I am back. He said, did the provost there tell you we made arrangement and we paid everything was paid for? You should stay there for the next three years. I said, he told me. Then he himself said, is it because of your ministry here? I said, yes, sir, you got it. <laughs> you know, temptation will come this way, that way, or that way. But you will overcome. You receive temptation like Christ. Number six.